Hey everybody, welcome back to Gardening with the Landscape Connection. My name is Michelle. I am in Northern Illinois Zone 5. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you come here, it's because you want to learn about gardening, and that's what my station is all about. So today, we are going to do some more pots. Now, these are kind of the bonus pots. They're not the next four pots that I was going to do in the Super Pot Challenge. Those are coming next week. But today, I, it is so nice out, I thought that I would get some of the pots done in front of the store. We always like to do the pots up in front of the store. It's kind of inspiration for the girls and people that come in to shop. So we end up doing two here at this entrance. We do one at the greenhouse entrance, two on the other side, and then we have an island in the middle and we have three pots out there. And then we have other pots that we do outside and we have this fountain, we do it around there. I'll show you all those later. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do these two pots right here. And I will, when we're done, kind of back up a little bit and give you more of a perspective of like the front of the building so you can kind of see what it is that we're doing. So we are gonna be filling these big urns here. These are 24 inches across, so they're pretty big. Um, they've been here for a really long time and I probably need to restain them. They're starting to look a little worn and that happens with concrete when they're outside. When they came in, the bottoms of them were cracked the base that they sit on and so I couldn't sell them and so it was like okay let's use them outside the entrances and we'll plant them up every year and use them for inspiration and I always have such a good time planting these up. So I am going to mirror the two sides so you want to make sure that when you're doing a mirrored planting with two pots if you want it to look the same then you have to flip the order of what's going on in each pot. So if I decide that I'm going to have you know a super tunia here that's going to cascade over I want to make sure that it's opposite on the other side so that they mirror each other I hope that made sense but I'll show you in just a minute after I plant them both and get them set up so what I did was I took out the dirt to about right down here and then I filled it up with fresh dirt and then I'm going to add of course you can use flower tone biotone um, I'm going to use the biotone starter fertilizer and I put about probably a cup in here because this is a pretty big reservoir right here. And I'm just going to mix that in. And again, those are two rubber bands. Let me throw those over there. Okay, again, these, this is going to be my starter, my kick, my get it going fertilizer. And then we will be on a, what we call Fertilizer Friday. Once a week, the girls will fertilize these with a watering can. Now, the ones that I do at my house, I do like every 10, every 10 days, but here, it's just easier to have them on a schedule and have them do them every Friday. So we call it Fertilizer Friday, and that's what they do. So what we are going to plant in this pot, let me grab it all and get it up on the pot, and I'll show it all to you. Okay, so these are fairly large pots. So I'm going to use, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different plants. And so in the middle, I am going to be putting a cypress, and this is the baby Moses. Isn't that great? It is going to get dun, 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 24 to 36 inches tall. So it's going to be my nice centerpiece right here. And it needs four to six hours of sunlight daily. So this gets afternoon sun, but it gets it go, the, the, the sun actually, you only get like four to six hours right through here because that's east and that's west. And there's a big row of trees. So the sun by 4.30, well, by 5.30, 6 o'clock, it's starting to set behind the trees. And I have planted this out here before and had no problem whatsoever. So he's gonna go right in the middle, all right? And then we're going to be using, let's see, as our main flowers, we're gonna use the Super Tunia Jazzberry. I just love the color of the Jazzberry. It's this really cool, it's not a fuchsia, but it's like a dark, dark pink, but it's more on the cool side. I really like it. It is in the Vista series, so it's really gonna fill out and drape down. So we're gonna use two of these. And then we're going to use the Superbina Whiteout. And so I'm gonna use the white because I think the white and the uh, Jazzberry together are gonna be really nice. So then the other one I'm gonna use is I am gonna use a Super Tunia here. This one is green with Envy. This is a potato vine. Okay, so I'm gonna use that. And then I wanted to have one of these little fiber optic grasses in there. I love these. I think these are so cool. So I put that in there and it's going to be kind of this drapey right here at the edge. And then in the back, I'm going to put one of the helichrysums uh, in here. And this one is called white licorice. And so this will also drape down the back side and through the pot. I think it'll look really fabulous. So 
let's go ahead and get it together. I'm going to grab all of these tags so I have one of each. And then we're going to go ahead and get this planted up, if I can get my glove. Okay, so here we go. My pot does have drainage in it. I have fertilized it. I'm going to bury it as deep in the pot as it is in the pot that I'm taking it out of. Oh, these are just gorgeous. I love, love, love the jazzberry. Okay, let's keep going. Fiber optic. Right here, and I'm going to plant it just at a little bit of an angle because I kind of want it to spill out. And the rest of them, they'll spill all by themselves. Okay, there's my jazzberry. Ooh, he's a little pot bound. I get my proven winners from two different nurseries, and one nursery uses these little short squat pots. Okay, ooh, he's really pot, uh, pot bound in there, so I'm gonna tease his roots up just a little bit. You can see how thick they are in there. All right, we're gonna put him in there, and we're gonna plant our helichrysum. Let me grab these pots and get them out of the way. Oh, I love the helichrysum. I love that silver foliage. It is so beautiful. And again, I'm going to tease the roots out a little bit. I only do this if they are really root bound. Otherwise, I just plop them right in there. All right, put my superbina in there. And then I just got to put my potato vine in. All right. There we go. And then I'll water it in. And I've got my dirt about a half inch below the lip so that when I do water it, it's going to stay in the pot. All right, let's do the other one. All right, same pot, but it's flipped. It's opposite. So the verbena, uh, so these are in the same place so that when you look at it, it looks like this is draping on this side and then it's draping on the other side. So they're opposite. And so I only have to keep one set of tags because the pots are identical. And so my jazzberry is going to go in here. And then here's my fiber optic grass. And again, I'm going to plant this one at just a little bit of an angle. Okay. There we go. And then my potato vine. This pot is going to be spectacular. And then I'm going to put my this is the baby tut, not the king or the prince or the queen. It's the baby tut. Okay, so my baby tut in the middle. Okay. And then my verbena. Whoop, dropped a pot. Oh, again, I got to tease those roots a little bit. Okay. Just keep planting. And basically, I've kind of planted it in a circle. my jazzberry. Oh, this guy's wiggling. I'm going to have to get a shim. He's wiggling a little bit. Yeah, I want to make sure I get a shim for that so it doesn't fall. Okay, then in the back, I got the, the helichrysum. Take that tag out of there. And then my last one is my superbina white out. All right. Just one more, break up the roots and get it in there. All right. Oh, and I didn't forget the, the biotone. I put it in there before I started. Okay, so this is all done and we'll water it in. And then, man, this thing is gonna be fabulous. I can't wait till it grows up. Okay, nice view of my parking lot here. But this is the next one that we're gonna do. This one sits in front of my glass or my greenhouse that houses all of my annuals, my vegetables, my herbs, hanging baskets, uh, all the proven winners, tropicals. If I spin this around, you can kind of see it's pretty full. <laughs> We're pretty much full up in here getting ready for Mother's Day. So I hope, I don't know if that was a good view or not. I hope it was. Okay. So let me grab my tape measure real fast. <laughs> Okay, so this pot is 
The inside measure is 19 inches. The other one, the inside measure was 24. So these we're gonna do up a little bit different. I have my Biotone already in here. And again, I emptied out about this much dirt and then I filled it up with fresh dirt. I think that was the last customer of the day. Okay, so now I've got that all mixed up in there. All right, and again, I'm going to use the Cypress Baby Moses again. I really like this as a center piece in a big pot. I like the little plumes on top. I just think it's so, I don't know, I just really like it. So I used it last year in pots at home and I had great success with them and so I'm doing it again. All right, now in this pot, I'm gonna use Proven Winners again and this time I'm going to use the, the Mini Vista Midnight. So look at those, aren't those gorgeous? Oh, that dark purple, I just love that. Okay, so I'm basically, again, gonna make like a ring of everything that I'm doing in here. And so I'm gonna use that, and then I'm going to use the Super Tunia Mini Vista Scarlet. So I'm gonna do this big contrast of the purple against the red. I think that's gonna be totally fabulous. So that's the next one I'm gonna use. I am going to do a potato vine, and this one is the Dwarf Marguerite. So it's got kind of a smaller leaf with a little bit more of a scalloped edge on it versus a regular uh, marguerite has a bigger leaf. So I'm gonna do this here. I love the contrast against the brown pot. That'll look really nice. And then my other one that I'm gonna do as a trailer is going to be the Lishmachia Goldie. And this is uh, basically Creeping Jenny. So I'm gonna use that as well. And I'm basically just gonna go in around here and I'm gonna do like every other plant and then we're gonna get it planted. Okay, so here we go. And the way this is gonna end up is I do have the cypress in the middle and everything is kind of opposite. So I did basically red, potato vine, purple, uh, the Creeping Jenny, then red, potato vine, purple, Creeping Jenny. But if you look at how they're planted, they're opposite each other in this pot. And so we're just gonna go ahead and get those planted. And so this will drape down the backside and I'll have to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't touch the ground Otherwise, this Creeping Jenny will root uh, in that bed right there. And then the Midnight and then the Potato Vine. Oh my God, these are going to be gorgeous when they grow up. I can't wait. And then my Scarlet. Uh-oh, I missed the, I have a little shopping cart I missed. I'll have to go get that one. All right. This one again. So there are all temperatures in the, uh, at night, no uh, temperatures below 40. So all of this should be okay out here. Okay, there we go. All nice and planted up. Spread my dirt, there we go. And again, I'm a little bit below the lip. Okay, and so this will grow and be absolutely gorgeous. All right. All right, just to give you a little perspective, that's my main building. And the two pots that we did are right here at the entrance. So I have one on either side and one entrance goes this way into this greenhouse and the other entrance goes into this one. Now we do have some pots that we'll do over here, but we'll do those at another time. And then we did the pot in front of the glass or in front of the main greenhouse door. Okay, so there's the main greenhouse door and that's the pot that we did right there. And then this is our front greenhouse here. And then that's our glass greenhouse, the main building. And then we'll do some projects out here a little bit later. We got three more big pots to fill out here. And then we have a rock garden that we work on uh, that as well. And then we've got some landscaping around the outside edge. So that is like the whole, I'm standing in the parking lot, <laughs> just doing a big circle. Okay, so that is our property, but there's three more recipes for you to inspire you to go out and get some pots done. So I'm Michelle with the Landscape Connection. I hope that you like the pots and that maybe you'll try some pots at home. Um, again, my goal is just to educate people so that they want to garden, you know, one garden at a time. So I'm Michelle, thanks so much for watching. Keep on gardening. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you love our videos, we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.